Hi, in this tutorial, I'm gonna make this network. This network represents the interconnectedness of notable people in Renaissance era. My network teacher, Dr. Shihi, uh, let me show you his website. Yeah. Uh, he worked on a big EU project for Renaissance Artist Network. So in his office, I could see a big uh, Renaissance Artist Network. So I'm gonna, uh, I'm trying to make that kind of network in this tutorial. But, uh, I don't have the big data set of EU project. So I'm going to use Wikipedia web page. Here, as you can see, uh, we have list of Renaissance figures. There's many names for artists and mathematician writers. So to make a data set, we need to scrape these data and, and then also we need a web crawling so for the for that processing we need use r but this is not r tutorial so um, i'm going to briefly explain my r code so this is my r code mm, uh, i'm using the package r vest it is for uh, scraping uh, data from uh, web pages. So the first line is uh, I need to uh, read HTML uh, and for this website web page, and then and using HTML nodes, I try to extract the the names from the web page. So the actually the names will be uh, our label for network. So that's why I write create label. So this is the checking process and then and then if this is uh, delete duplicate names. So finally we can get uh, Ali list. Let's try to Ali. Ali means Renaissance from Renaissance the list. So as you can see, there's some names. Yes. So we have 173 names uh, in of Renaissance era. So next step is creating nodes. So uh, as for nodes, creating nodes, uh, we may use names, but it's not good for in, in this process because you know in the in the web pages uh, you can find sometimes just first name, sometimes just last name, or full name. So there's many various case cases so it's not good for nodes so uh in this in this uh step i use the link because you can find some in the wikipedia the the, the name has uh html link but link is always unique so uh, we can use the link as our node ID. And here I use HTML ATTR so, so extract the link having href uh, CSS selector. So we can make this template list means nodes. Uh, let's see what is nodes. Yeah, as you can see, there's a link. It, it will be our nose. Also, the length of nose is 173, same as the as a name list. Next step is for web crawling. 
So first of all, we need to make complete HTML links. As you can see, this is not complete links, just a shortened type of link. So maybe in the for web crawling, we need the complete links. So I make this function to make complete links links and then next step is create edge data so we have label nose links let me check one by one label will be names nose will be shortened type of links and links is pull a complete links of the 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 artist or mathematician has been very notable people in the Renaissance era. And to web crawling, I create function. The function name is find text. So it is for finding node data uh, in the target web page. So it means if we have some one node and using find text the it function try to find the nose information on in the in the other the other artist web page this is the function find text and i try to test the function work well it's work well and next one is, is loop process this loop means this uh, we need to apply this function find the text to all other artist web pages so it means maybe for example maybe the node is uh, Leonardo the da Vinci and we try to find the da Vinci information in the other artist web pages so but we have uh, 100, 173 artist web pages so uh, through the looping process we try to find we try to look for the, the information of this nose to from the all other the all the other artist web pages so look at the loop so uh, 100 73 is our uh, the, the names of the artist so this is maybe this is the the nose and then the we try to find we try to apply the the function find the text to the other artist web pages look at here so that's why there's 172 because this we don't have to find uh, this this information from this inf information in his own web page so we need to apply the function to the other web pages so 172 uh, and if this function find some information uh, this process update our edge data frame frame so this is the, the how to update the uh, edge data set and move to next one and then finally we we can create csv file so we have edge file from here so we uh, uh, save uh, as early edges csv and next one is nose so we already have some uh, the nose data set and label and all i also adding some some category columns for artist architects mathematician writers some uh, philosopher composer dance maker explorer and navigators and i adding 
this information to uh, nodes data set. So we can get, uh, we can create CSV file for nodes. Now let's move to Gephi. Uh, first, of, first of all, we need to create a new project. Mm, yes, new project. And then go to data laboratory. Yes. And import spread, spreadsheet. So we have uh, RE node CSV. Click and this is nodes table. Next. So and then finish. Yes. And the next one is for edges. Click edge. Import spreadsheet. So we have edges. So uh, in the in the previous uh, tutorial, I explained uh, how to import this spreadsheet. So maybe you can check the previous tutorial edges. And next, finish and move to overview so we have this network so let's some um, change let's change some things uh, first of all uh, nose uh, attribute we have category and let's apply and about the size attribute let's use degree mm. Maybe minimum size how about 10 apply yes it's good. It looks good so uh, just want yep and the layout for as for layout maybe we just choose uh, yeah we fun who layout yeah we can get this kind of network stop and to show label uh, let's use here labels nose mm, let's see about 28 okay and uh, yeah that's okay and then how about here and scaled text Okay, and let's zoom in. Yes. Yeah, so we have this kind of uh, network. Uh, so better visualizing. Uh, let's change this one, not uh, node size. Yes, this uh, is better. So we have the different color is purple is artist is green philosopher so we can see the the uh, there's some group so how about here the this the big nose mean there are many many edges it means there are many connections to the other artist or mathematicians or philosopher so uh, Galilei or oh, Galilei and let's move this in so we can see some uh, the relationship between artists also maybe here they have some relationship relationship between uh, purple is artist or also green is hmm, I hear philosopher and then maybe we can uh, make it look better and go to preview so in the preview uh, as you can just choose text outline, a text outline and then choose show label press so we can get this network <laughs> 